let's go back to well let's go back to Shelby I would like to maybe get you to paint a picture of what it was like at uh, the Scruggs house on Sunday afternoon back when uh, you were starting to play about then and, and get fairly accomplished at it and, it and your family was very musical what did y'all have uh, a lot of families Sunday afternoons together where the music would flow I have two brothers and uh, three sisters and they, they all played uh, guitar or banjo or auto harp or something and quite frequently like Sunday afternoon as you uh, referred to uh, certain times of the year when it was, uh, we could all get together we'd find ourselves all having a little family session and usually wind up with their instruments picking and singing and, and that was kind of a, a typical afternoon for us if we all got together before the day was over with we'd be all picking together don't you think that that has a, a great deal to do with why bluegrass is what it is these days? It's, it was so much a social event as a family music, and it continues this today. As you see the festivals, I don't think there are very many musical forms that bring out uh, the kids all the way up to the older people and the teenagers. And they all mix so well, and they all love the music uh, for their own reasons. And I, I, I think you're exactly right. Uh, I was raised up uh, at the tail end of the d Depression days, and I know the banjo and, and the family get-togethers and the music and singing uh, played a big part in, in making us forget about the hard times. And uh, that, with music and, and family reunions, uh, got us right through. Uh, I remember, uh, in addition to the music, uh, they used to have uh, what they call all-day singing and dinner on the ground at, at some rural church. I like good gospel singing, and, and you know it's so relaxing, and, and you just forget all of the worldly things, and it's just good. What's it like working for Bill Monroe? What uh, was it like working for Bill Monroe back in uh, the, the classic days of of the Bluegrass Boys when you and Lester were with him? Well, I had about two and a half years. I guess I worked with Bill about two and a half to three years, and it was uh, we had some great times together. Uh, Bill has always been a, a strong, a happy type guy, and we we really had some good time. We, we worked awful hard. Bill used to work seven days a week. Of course, Lester and I did too, six and seven days a week. That's including travel. But uh, we used to work Monday through through Saturday, and uh, a lot of time I have to leave on Sunday, you know, and sometimes work on Sunday. But uh, uh, back in those days, we was all younger and. Uh, more picking was the merrier. We really had some good times. He's a tough boss to work for. Toe, make you toe the line pretty good. Yeah. Well, Bill has his standards, which I appreciate. I, I like to know how a feller stands, and he has his uh, do's and don'ts. And, and and I do the same thing with my group. Uh, and uh, it's something that I don't ask somebody to do that I don't do myself. It's uh, We go out, we have fun, but we still take her music very seriously and and when it comes time to go on stage everybody's straight and and goes out and and try to do what the people expect us to do and that's basically what bill did you know then the roster we were talking earlier the people that have been through his his band it's a who's who in bluegrass music the people that have over the years uh, been bluegrass boys it's, a, it's an incredible list of people you and lester flat were Pretty much, not single-handedly, but you were probably, if, if you had to single out one act or one individual group, more responsible for the popularization of bluegrass, especially back in the, the 60s and with uh, the television work you did on the Beverly mm -hmm. Hillbillies that we all enjoyed so much and the music that got into the movies via Bonnie and Clyde mm -hmm. and all the Foggy Mountain Breakdown. As far as Lester and my work is concerned, when we did that Beverly Hillbillies show back in about 1960, uh, gracious, uh, it was sent to different countries all over the world and suddenly you know we just started getting mail from all over the world so the, the people out there there's people out there that loves country music and bluegrass music but to, it's just a matter of getting it to them i believe reflect if you will on uh, you you performed in richmond i believe with sunshine sue yeah. on more than one occasion at the mm -hmm. old dominion barn dance and tell me a little bit about that and some of the people you remember from those days well, uh, Lester and I was on uh, Old Dominion Barn Dance for about three months, I guess, in 1954. We had gone to the WSM for Martha White people, and uh, we decided to uh, leave, and they didn't want us to 
leave the program, so we taped the programs and would send them back and, and we went to work for Sunshine Sioux and uh, WRBA in, in Richmond. And uh, uh, I think uh, Wilman Lee and Stoney Cooper was there and Mac Wiseman was there and and I don't remember all of the people was there, but it was in the year of 1954 in the, in the latter days of, of the old original mm-hmm. Barn Danes. What's left for you to, to do? You have made an indelible mark on the music world and especially in the chosen area of your endeavor, that being bluegrass or country or progressive bluegrass or whatever label we'd have to put on it. But what are the, how are you going to spend the rest of your years? Do you want to play as long as you're physically able to play and uh, wherever that may lead? I sure do. I don't have any thought of retiring. I, I have cut back. You know, I like a we were talking a while ago, I used to travel several, seven days a week, and I just don't want to do that anymore because I'm enjoying grandchildren and, and my own children and family. Uh, but now we're working with the dealers, we work maybe two days a week, two or three days a week, and my wife travels with me, and, and my boys have wives and children, you know, and everything's shaping up. So I, I want to still stay in the business, but, you know, not at a hard pace like I used to. But my health, thank goodness, is still good, and, and as long as it is, and, and I love music, so I'd like to stay with it as long as I can.